Hello friends, welcome to my channel that is learning and programming with Chetan. And in our previous video, we have discussed about string immutability concept. And we have also discussed that why string is made immutable in Java. Now in this particular video, we will going to discuss that how we can create our own immutable class in Java programming language. So let us first discuss about the rules to create immutable class in Java. And side by side, we will also see the practical implementation of each and every rule that we will discuss in this particular tutorial. So let us discuss about our first rule that is don't allow other classes to override the methods which means that any method which we are declaring inside our immutable class we should not allow any other class to override that method and our second rule is don't allow to create subclasses of our immutable class which means that if we are creating an immutable class then we should not allow any other class to extend our immutable class. So here you can see that I have created one immutable class with the name custom immutable class and in our first two rules we have discussed that we should not allow to create subclass of our immutable class and we should not allow any other class to override the methods which we will define inside our immutable class so we can implement these two rules by declaring our immutable class as final so when we will declare our class is final then no other class can extend our class and no other class is allowed to override write the methods which we will define inside our immutable class. Now let us discuss about our next rule that is all fields which we will declare inside our immutable class should be private and final. So here in our immutable class you can see that we have created three different fields. First one that is school name which is of type string and second one is student strength which is of type integer and third one is a student field which is of type student and here you can see that we have declared all the three fields as private and final we have declared our instance variables as private so that it should not be accessed outside the class and we have declared our instance variables as final so that no one can update the values of our instance variables and when we declare our instance variable as final then we can assign its value only inside our constructor now let us discuss about our next rule that is we should use parameterize constructor to initialize the instance variables which we have defined inside our immutable class so here in our class you can see that we have declared a parameterize constructor which is having same name as that of the class name and it is accepting three parameters which is of type string integer and a student and my dear friends our immutable class can contain both type of instance variables that is of mutable type and immutable type so if we talk about a string class and all the wrapper classes then these classes are by default immutable and here if we will talk about the student class instance variable then our student class is mutable so here you can see that i have created an student class and it is having two instance variables with the name student name and student role number and here i have defined and parameterized constructor to initialize the values of our student object and here i have provided an getter method and setter method so our student class is mutable class which means that whenever we will assign the value to our student object then in spite of creating a new object it will update the values in the same object and our student class is implementing clonable interface which means that we can create a clone of our student class and i have also overrided clone method and two string method inside my student class so here inside my parameterize constructor if the instance variables is of type immutable then we can directly assign the values to our immutable instance variables now before moving further let us first discuss about our next rule that is we should not allow direct access to our mutable instance variables so as per our fifth rule that is we should not allow direct access to our mutable instance variables here you can see that I am not directly assigning the value of our student object to our mutable instance variable. And here first I am creating the clone of our student object and then I am assigning the value to our mutable instance variable that is student. Now let us discuss about our next rule that is we should not provide methods to update the fields which we have defined inside our immutable class. That is we should not provide any method inside our immutable class which can update the values of our instance variable 
so inside our immutable class we have not provided any setter method and we are just providing the getter methods of our instance variables so this is the getter method for our string type field and this is the getter method for our integer type field and here this is the getter method which we have defined for our mutable student object so here you can notice that i am not directly returning the value of our mutable student object and first i am creating the clone of our student object and then i am returning its value which means that we are not directly allowing an access to our mutable instance variables and here we have overrided and two string method inside our immutable class to print the values of our instance variables so friends these are the various rules which we have to take care while creating any immutable class in java programming language now let us test our immutable class by creating an object of our immutable class and by updating its values so for testing our immutable class i have created an class with the name test custom immutable and inside our class we have created a main method and here in this statement you can see that i am creating an object of our student class and we have already discussed that our student class is mutable now here in this statement you can see that we are creating an object of our custom immutable class and inside our parameterized constructor this is the name of our school and this is the value for our student strength and here i am passing an mutable student object and here in this statement i am simply printing the value of our custom immutable object now let us run our program once so here you can see that we are getting the values of our immutable object so here this is the value which we have assigned for our school name and this is our student strength and this is the value which i have passed in our student object that is student name is chetan and student roll number is 10 now my dear friends let us try to modify the value of our immutable object so friends whenever we try to update the values for our immutable objects then in place of updating the same object it will always create a new object in memory so here i am updating the value of our student name for our student object and here i am printing the value of our immutable object after modification so friends as per immutability concept if you are trying to update the value of the instance variables of our immutable class its value should not change so let us run our program and we will see that whether the value of our immutable object is updating or not so let me run our program so here you can see that this is the value of our immutable object before modifications and these are the values which we are getting after modification so here you can see that even after modification the value of our student name is same that is chetan and it is not updating to anand so it qualifies the definition of immutable objects that is whenever we are doing any modification in an existing immutable object then it should not update the value of the existing immutable object and in place of updating the value in the same object it always create a new object in memory so friends i hope that you are able to understand that how easily we can create our immutable class in java programming language and friends if you are having any doubts related to immutable class then you can write your queries in comment section